Tony La Russa, three-time World Series champ, Hall of Fame baseball manager, and new hire of the Chicago White Sox, has been arrested for the second time for DUI. He was hired to lead the White Sox after a nine-year stint without doing anything in baseball. To the Maricopa County, the arrest was made in February, but wasn't filed till late October due to coronavirus. White Sox spokesman said they were aware of the arrest when La Russa got arrested the day before his signing. This is the question, where does La Russa stand in his future with the White Sox? The Rusa refused to perform any kind of blood alcohol test, whether it was a mouth swab, urine test, or blood test. After the officer got a warrant to test La Russa's blood, officer said La Russa became very argumentative, and then later on, officer placed La Russa under arrest. La Russa's previous arrest for DUI occurred when he fell asleep in Jupiter, Florida, outside the spring training facility of the St. Louis Cardinals when he was driving his SUV and fell asleep at a red light when an officer pulled up next to him. Despite La Russa being an all-time great, I think it would be an all-time bad move for the White Sox bringing him back. One time DUI happens, maybe it's an accident. If it happens a second time, I don't think the guy should get another shot. But personally, I feel like the White Sox will still bring him back because La Russa started his career with the White Sox and probably wants to finish and end up retiring with the White Sox. And a lot of organizations will do that for their bigger players, their, their big time players that brought them championships and or started their career with them.